some dude in a car got shot and everyone in Europe went mad and started a big bloody war. Every nation mobilized its population, gave them a rifle and a military uniform in order to- What is that? Well, so the question is, what's wrong with France and these uniforms? I mean, they do look fancy, but it seems like they are missing the whole point of committing war crimes in trenches for no reason. So, why? In 1871, after the defeat against Prussia, France decided to modernize its army. Welcome to the military improvement meeting, gentlemen. Today we are discussing military improvement. Any ideas? What about new uniforms? I think we need bigger rifles. Oh, yep, nice suggestion. And uh, the uniform? We should have bigger cannons. Oh, yeah, let me write this down. Uniforms, clothes, freaking fabric. And uh, what about more baguettes? Oh, you're onto something, yep. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, I think that's enough. Thanks for coming. In 1881, though, the United Kingdom was fighting somewhere in the desert and they were losing because of their red flashy uniform. Look at this British idiot in red. Who would wear such a stupid color, huh? huh? Because of this and until 1912, many new designs are tested, but they are all declined. In 1915, a camouflage is even suggested. Camouflage? What would we need a camouflage? No, but seriously, how come they refused all of this? There must be a reason, right? Right? Well, not really. There are a couple of theories. The first one was not to mistake their uniform for German one. But it was mostly because at this time, France was still very nostalgic of Napoleon. And all the flair, the panache, the elegance, the style, the grace, the beauty, the magnificence, the grandeur, the charm. Yeah, yeah, okay, we, we got it. For many politicians, war was a chivalrous matter where style was important. One of them, Etienne Clementel, even said, We don't teach a soldier how to hide. His desire is to accomplish miracles. 